is it's like an alternate reality. It's, it's a really interesting phenomenon that, that has happened and that's taking place. There's an entire world that's all just online. And it's bizarre. It's, it, it, it's, it's kind of a weird, a weird thing. The way that people would act in person oftentimes is not the way that they present themselves or the way they would act or behave on the internet. The things that you would normally say to someone in person or the things you wouldn't say to someone in person, and now all of a sudden it's fine to do so online. And this is, this is something that it spreads and, and you can, the, the more you see it happening, the more likely you are to kind of join up and act the same way that other people are acting. And um, th there, there's so much, <laughs> there's so many different aspects that we need to make sure that we are keeping ourselves from getting into all kinds of, of horrendous sins, all just because it's easy and available at our fingertips and we could do so from the comfort of our own homes. There's, a, there's an aspect of anonymity also online that previously you couldn't really have. I mean, you'd have to wear some kind of, an, uh, of a costume or go, you know, if you're going to go out and do something or say something, you'd have to disguise yourself in some way physically in order to try to remain anonymous. But now with the internet, it's so easy. To, and see, that would require a lot of work and a lot of effort to go through all these hurdles. And most people would be like, yeah, well, I, I don't, you know, I'm not going to mess with that because it's just too, too much work. But these days now, it's so easy to become anonymous. I mean, people, predators are out there doing it all the time. They're putting up fake profile pictures and fake bios and all kinds of things to try to gain confidence and, and go after kids and whatever. That's just one aspect. But people are doing this all over the place through, you know, on YouTube, on Facebook. They're making comments. And man, there's, <laughs> there's so much here. The, the whole online world also can, can lend itself to allow for this group think and mob mentality. And all of these things play together. And, and, and forgive me, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with my words this morning just because this is such a massive topic and there's so many things that, at play that you just need to be aware of. And, and everything I'm saying right now, I see a lot of heads nodding. It's not like this is brand new information. To you. I'm sure you've all probably thought about these things before, but we need to keep ourselves reminded of these, especially if you are on social media, which, you know, there's a lot of benefit that can be had. We as a church use social media to get the message out of the, the sermons, the preaching, things like that, to stay in communication with one another. You know, we, we can um, coordinate events. And, and there's a lot of great uses for these things. And, and I'm not saying that the tool itself is evil. That's like saying that a computer is evil because people can go and, and look at pornography online. The tool isn't evil, but it's how you use the tool that is what really matters. And there are a lot of ways that, uh, and there's, there's things like, I don't think Facebook or, or YouTube or whatever are inherently evil pieces of, of software. Now, maybe some of the people behind them are evil, but, but the, their, their actual tool that they have created isn't, there's nothing wrong with that. Like if you, it, depending on how you use it, it's completely fine. I mean, I think it's great to be able to see pictures and videos of other family members that live in other parts of the country and be able to kind of communicate easier and, and, and be, feel like you're a little bit more involved and see more what's going on. I think that's great. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But there's so many other things that present themselves to be problems. And um, especially when it comes to interactions and your communication with other people and um, you know, obviously the, the big thing is when it comes to religion, that's what oftentimes a lot of people will bring up. But just in general, you know, there's, there seems to be a lack of respect for people and people are, can get real quick to get hot on some issues and start mouthing off and spouting off their mouth in, in areas that 
If you had been standing face to face with that same exact person, you would never act that way or say those things. And, and we need to make sure that you don't fall into that same trap just because you might see those types of things happening around you or other people making these comments. Now, another thing that you have to be aware of is that you lose a lot of nonverbal communication sometimes when it comes to comments and writing things. That's actually very important. It's really easy to misconstrue intentions. And oftentimes, you know, there's, there's drama and fightings and strivings that happen for no reason, really. It's just because people read something wrong or you miss a word or you, you know, when, when, you're, when you're speaking, your intonation and your voice, and there's so many cues that, that come across to help express what it is you're trying to express. And when it's all just typed out, and especially in shorthand and you're using all these shortcuts, it, it, the, the whole meaning doesn't get there. So we've got to be aware of that.